Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to review the E3130, a laser module by Nege. Is it any good? Let's find out. Nege this year have introduced uh, their third series of machines, including the Nege 3 Pro, which I'm sure you've seen in my channel, and along with it has updated their existing laser modules and introduce completely new laser modules. The E3130 is a single diode fixed focus laser module and despite it looks similar to some of the existing ones, uh, mainly because of the form factor, on the inside is completely redesigned ground up. So that means that you get a new driver and a new laser compression technology. Now, one of the cool features about all of their new laser modules is that they come as standard uh, with uh, integrated air nozzles. So that means that if you are intending to use air assist, uh, you won't need to deal with the hassle of installing it. Uh, all you will need to do once you install the laser module is to simply plug in the hose either from your machine or a compressor. Now, one of the selling points about this laser module is that it is designed mostly for cutting. Now, that doesn't mean that you cannot engrave with it. That means that the laser is a long focus laser module and so you can cut faster or deeper material compared to uh, its counterpart F3130. The other selling point is that the focus is uh, 0.06 millimeter square and that the spot is actually um, a square and not a rectangle. Now, I was a little bit skeptical about this. As you know, I've been saying many times in my channel, because of the very nature of the uh, laser diode technology, uh, which produces a rectangular beam, it is nearly impossible to compensate for the elongated side and to make it like a rectangle. However, what I've noticed is that uh, with the air nozzle, which is installed on the bottom, uh, basically the orifice, which is the tiny hole on the bottom, uh, they're basically cropping out a small, small region on the corner, which means that what you see getting out is somewhat circular square. And uh, throughout my testing, I have to say that the results are pretty symmetrical. Uh, so that means that uh, when you cut uh, in all of the direction X and Y and combined, uh, you will still get a pretty much consistent uh, thickness of cut line that's called curve. By the way, if you want to know more, you will see a card popping out in the corner. All right, let's now get into the actual uh, review of the laser module. Now, I'm going to break down the review in multiple sections, so I will try to cover as many things as possible, and then towards the end, you will also see the testing, and then uh, what I like, what I don't like, and whether you should consider it or discard it. Now, let's start up with the installation. Installation-wise, it is pretty straightforward. If you get any machine from DJ, uh, at least starting from the second series, uh, the clamp that comes with it uh, will basically accept the new laser module. So if you have the existing clamp, you will see that there are small hedges on the jaws, and the small hedges will basically sit nicely uh, on some of the grooves in the aluminum profile of the laser module. And so all you will need to do is to simply loosen the clamp, remove the old laser module, unplug the cable, unplug the hair hose, and then simply do the reverse with the new laser module. And so pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, the cool thing is that uh, in the kit with laser module, you get all you could possibly need also to adapt the laser module into other machines so I mean other brands or custom built laser CNC machines and so this is pretty cool so that means you get uh, an extra clamp you have you get also an adapting board a bunch of cables a hose an adapter and so all right power wise you are supposed to get on end a 5.5 watt laser module which is something to be expected since we are talking of a single diode laser module. And so I, I went ahead and test that myself with my optical power meter. And although I haven't 
uh, touch the 5.5 watt as you will see uh, we are still in line with what it is advertised because do not forget that we are uh, we always have some tolerance uh, given by the measuring tool in this case the optical power meter and then there will always be some error uh, in the measurement itself so that means uh, error by the user uh, error in alignment and so on and so we can pretty confidently say that it is indeed a 5.5 watt laser module capabilities before to actually cover capabilities let's cover some of the testing that i performed and so uh, the first thing that i did now this is a fixed focus laser module um, and so that means that you normally need a clearance plate or something that you can put under your laser module with a fixed height uh, and you are basically good to go however what i uh, normally do when i get a new laser module is to test the reference height uh, for the actual material that i'm intending to cut and so the first test i performed was an inclined test now if you don't know what it is uh, you will see a card popping out in the corner i have a very whole video uh, talking about that but in short it is a test that will allow you to very quickly and efficiently find the right focal height or reference height uh, so that you can basically uh, cut nicely every single time uh, and that uh, bear in mind it's uh, material and thickness dependent and so for a three millimeter thick play wood which is what I normally uh, cut with the machine I found that a 12 millimeter clearance uh, from the cutting area to the head of the bolt on the bottom of the machine it's uh, pretty good so the 10 millimeters are actually given for uh, up to five millimeters material cutting and so I think that we are pretty much in line then once I've performed uh, the inclined test it was time to perform a cutting test where I'm going to try a bunch of uh, speeds and power and to see what is the uh, optimal parameter combination for the cutting this once again it is material specific so in my case I've tested that out with what I cut the most which is the three millimeter uh, thick play wood uh, but if you are intending to cut something different you will need to try with that particular material and thickness variation and so uh, from here uh, you will see that with air assist we basically get through at 85% uh, 250 millimeters per minute now I have to say that I was expecting to reach at least the 300 um, I'm not sure why it wasn't able to cut through uh, from the back side I can see that it partially cut through and so uh, what I can think of is that uh, perhaps the sheet of plywood was a little bit warped and uh, so this is the reason why uh, it didn't manage to cut all the way through then the next test was uh, an engraving test where I'm going to try in a similar fashion different uh, speed and power combination um, in order to find um, the proper engraving uh, parameters uh, this is actually uh, like a cheat sheet which is going to allow you to quickly identify which parameter to use uh, depending on how deep or how dark you would like your engraving to be so this is also a cool uh, kind of testing and then I went ahead uh, and try uh, different materials including five millimeters acrylic black acrylic and I went with 110 millimeters per minute 90 percent three passes which is pretty much standard for a 5.5 watt uh, laser module um, MDF three millimeters thickness uh, it was at around 200 millimeters per minute uh, 95 percent of the power in a single pass which is pretty good don't forget that MDF it's uh, harder a denser material and so you will basically need uh, more power or lower speed in order to go through and then I started with a bunch of projects one of which I'm sure uh, you've seen it into my thumbnail and that is a wooden barrel this was 
uh, one of the most interesting projects that I've ever cut with uh, a laser engraver. And the reason behind that is because I had to use the traditional method to actually put the things together. So that means that the staves, I think they're called in English, uh, they had to be soaked into water. Uh, then I had to uh, try to position them from one of the uh, top, from one of the hands. And then easy, easy, I had to tighten that out, which I ended up doing with a couple of zip ties. And so uh, since the laser module cannot cut at an angle, that means that the side of the staves, uh, they were not uh, proper. Uh, and so I had to align them and easy, easy tighten until I got them all together. And then at the end, I had to uh, use um, the hair dryer in order to warm up the inside so that I could uh, release the water and to uh, preserve the actual shape of the staves. So it was a very interesting project, but as you can see, uh, the machine was more than capable. All right, it is now time to share with you what I liked and what I didn't like about this laser module. Now, the first thing that I liked is the fact that now it comes a standard with integrated air nozzle, which means that you don't have to go through the hassle of figuring out yourself how to install air assist. All you will need to do is to simply plug in the hose from either your machine or compressor. The second thing that I like is the form factor. Uh, you see, the new machine from the Jet, the NJ3 Pro, uh, sits a little bit higher. So uh, that means that uh, Nege have deliberately left space for the cutting mat or the honeycomb that you normally buy for cutting purposes. And so, uh, although this is good because you don't lose this uh, height that is actually taken by the uh, honeycomb, it is not good in the case where you either don't have it or uh, you want to simply engrave, which means you don't need the honeycomb in the first place. And so what I've noticed with that uh, kind of form factor from the uh, 40 uh, lineup, so that means the A40640, for example, is that with the clamp that is installed in the machine, you cannot go that low. So you will always need at least 20 millimeters uh, boosting height in order to be able to actually get in focus at the right spot and to do your job, even if it is for engraving. The other thing that I like is uh, the ridiculously small cutting line. So uh, this machine, this laser module has a minimal curve. And so when you cut, you will see it's like uh, the thickness of a hair. So the claim 0.06 millimeter, although I haven't performed a curve test, which is going to basically allow me to measure uh, the thickness of the cut line, I have to say that compared to the uh, other laser modules, it is ridiculously small. And this is uh, something great in the case you want to do intrigant and complicate or small details. So that's something uh, really nice. And fourth, uh, the cool thing about uh, laser modules from the Jet that you're buying separately is the fact that you can get a standard, uh, an adapting board and also some extra accessories that you can use to install the laser module in any other machine, including uh, custom built uh, laser CNC uh, machines. So this is something nice as well. Now, the one thing that I didn't like is the lack of clearance plate. Now, it is not a big deal, but it would be great to see the upcoming module come as standard with a clearance plate. Now, as I said, this is a fixed focus laser module, which means that you will always need to position your laser module at a fixed height from the engraving area, and you're basically good to go. And this is something that we see with other machines. Now, I know that you are going to change that uh, based on the actual thickness of material that you are going to cut. But at least for engraving purposes, if engraving is what you are uh, willing to do, 
I think that providing you with a 10 or 12 millimeters clearance plate would have been uh, something cool to see. All right, so should you consider it or discard it? Now, it is a long focus laser module, which means that despite being a 5.5 watt uh, single diode laser module, you are going to be able to cut deeper or faster. And so if you're shopping around for a cheap laser module that will allow you also to cut uh, quite decently, also considering the fact that you get a very tiny spot, which means that you can cut uh, very intrigant and small details, I think that despite costing somewhere around uh, $20, $25 more compared to other uh, 5.5 watt, it is absolutely worth it, including also the fact that you get included the air nozzle, so you can use air assist uh, as standard, so it is a completely worthy laser module to buy. All right. I hope you found my video helpful, informative. If you have any comment, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, click the thumb up button below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now!